Hey YouTube, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Mastertech and this video is about how to start programming. And let's jump in it. Did you know with just a laptop and bunch of codes and also internet you can make wonderful things? Well, <laughs> I think you already knew that. Otherwise, why would you jump into this video and try to learn programming? And also for those who aren't already subscribed to the channel, please subscribe and consider doing so. You know, I talk about computer programming, React, React Native and even Python, some of my personal projects and experience. So just take a look at the channel and you know, kind of something that you may be interested, please subscribe. So about the coding, what we do as a software de developer, we have this big project or problem that we have to solve, but we separate it into smaller problems, smaller portions in the more solvable problems so that we can solve it easily. So if you have a big problem, do not make it so much big in your head make it into small problems and then solve each one of them mostly by googling it it's actually something that i always tell my students literally everything you want anything any problem that you have another one had already faced it and asked it in the internet and people have already answered that for example in stack overflow or other websites so you just have to know how to google things and how to google it the right way to get what you want as soon as possible let's see this more specifically how would you exactly start programming well first of all you have to see what is that goal you have for example you want to be a web developer you want to dive into artificial intelligence you want to go through gaming another thing would be blockchain that nowadays is a huge opportunity first you have to find out what is your goal for example for web development you should consider if you're going through front-end or back-end. For example, front-end, I recommend React.js. For back-end, you can learn .NET, c -sharp, or Django with Python, or even Go nowadays is a trend. If you want to dive into artificial intelligence, you may want to learn Python. For gaming, C++ and c -sharp, are the languages you want to learn. Myself, I am mastering in front-end, working on React.js. For front-ends, there are three popular frameworks, React.js, which actually is a library, and Angular and Vue.js, which React is just blowing. I mean, it's, it's a trend. Actually, the Stack Overflow survey, you can see that most jobs needs React developers. I recommend if you want to, you know, start learning front-end, learn React.js, which I myself teach it in my channel as well. And now you pick the language, you know what is your goal, how to learn this language, and how to get the job eventually. There's so many documents out there for every programming language that you choose. And believe me, you can never master the language, you know, all of the language. Never. It's impossible, you know, because it's endless. It's always one thing you may miss because it's a huge amount of data. And actually, it's even unnecessary to learn them all. So I'm just going to give you the steps for this. First of all, I recommend you to install Visual Studio Code. Ace, you can code. It's the best one. It's just the best text editor to code. The second thing I want you to focus on is that stick to one tutorial. Okay, so think about that you picked Python. You want to learn Python. 
when you google it okay there's so many tutorials so many documents so many videos on youtube you know anything any tutorial that you want is on the internet but which one you choose you can search it for a day for example you find let's say 10 good tutorial for python pick one of them just one of them the one that you think that you can learn and you feel comfortable with it let's pick one that tutorial and end it you know don't jump into other tutorials what we call it is tutorial hell you know it's just you go through one tutorial through another tutorial and you say oh god i don't know about this so i have to learn it so you go through this tutorial and you see another thing that you don't know and you just you know it's endless so what i'm saying is stick to one tutorial and end it master that one tutorial I don't know if it's 10 hour or even 30 hour just do that and close it okay the next thing you want to do is do a project related to that programming language for example uh, with JavaScript you can make a site with HTML CSS JavaScript that can be your project and don't even worry about the project because there are so many clones and projects with any language that you want on internet and YouTube. There are guys there at YouTube that they made the project and you can just see the code and they go through it. For example, it's a three hour video. You watch it, you code with that guy. Finally, you do the project and put it in your github repository that's gonna make your resume heavier some channels that i myself learned from it and did the projects is clever programmer and sunny sanga which i you know link it down below you can check it out for those who want to learn react Another useful thing that I think you need to do as a professional programmer, something that I always recommend to my students, is take a time and learn some shortcuts. Shortcuts and extensions that are helpful and make you code even faster and easier. Extensions for VS Code, so shortcuts for VS Code, and also shortcuts for your specific programming language and this is one of the things that make you different from other programmers the other thing that might you know uh, make a difference between you and other programmers is the experience that you have the more experience that you have the more you code the more project that you build you're gonna be better at coding and you're just gonna level up from junior to senior and finally, the more projects you do, the better you get. Remember, Google is your best friend. I mean, you have to believe it. Whenever anyone asks me about computer problems, I always Google it because they think that I have the Bachelor in Computer Engineering, so I have to know any everything about computer, but that's not true. That's Google that knows everything. I am the one who searched it and reached whatever it is that I want. Actually, Googling is a skill that you will learn through this journey. You might want to say that, okay, so they will Google it and know what is this, the problem. But no, they cannot. First of all, searching is a skill. Second of all, they don't believe in Google it's really important you have to believe google you have to understand any problem that you face now someone else have faced before and have asked through internet or searched it answer is on the internet only thing you need to do to is to google it and google it the way that you get the fastest and something that people always say is that okay how much hours a day, how, much, how many days it takes for me to learn a programming language, you know, 
let's be honest, when I was starting coding, I would always ask this question too. If you do the full-time job, I mean, eight hours a day, it takes an, an average, you know, if you're a normal person, not a genius, not stupid, <laughs> but in average, it takes three months. For myself, I did it, I think, one month or it was two, but it really depends. And it actually doesn't matter if you have another job to do or any other thing you have to do. You can still keep going definitely something that uh, you can do it i mean anyone can do it anyone can learn programming and actually have to learn programming nowadays it's a essential thing to do the only thing you have to do is to give your hundred percent do the job and never give up but to wrap up i'd say don't make it big for yourself always Make it to small problems, always Google, and make sure you don't get the tutorial hell. So if you have any question down in the description below, I will make another video to answer your questions. So that's it, and I've already asked you to subscribe the channel, like, and comment down below. So I think I'm done here. Actually, I have this goal to have 100 subscribers on YouTube for this month. I mean, over this month. And yeah, let's, let's do this. And I think that's possible. Till next time, peace. I mean, what the hell? Hey, you guys. Welcome. So, did you know with just a laptop and... Uh, watch and... So, just take a look at the channel. Up into a smaller... Oh, yeah. And also... Kameshkan!